Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Today I would like to enlighten you a little bit about the faults and mistakes being made when it comes to the education of children and young people starting at their home and later on in school. At home, children cannot learn anything else than what the parents have in store for them, and the parents cannot teach anything else than what they themselves have learned. And whatever they have learned from their parents and school has been aimed to make out of them, out of the people in your countries, good obeying citizens. Because only a citizen who follows the rules and don't ask many questions can be easily be managed and manipulated. The rulers of your countries fear nothing more than an individual, a human, who takes on responsibility for himself and thinks for himself. Because if the educational system would teach children and young people about their own capabilities and give them the feeling of a value instead of being just an obeying citizen, then the whole system as it is set up would be obsolete. Why would you need a police force? And if you have a rather global education system which would aim at freeing people's minds and souls and hearts. Why would you even need armies? Why would you need churches, synagogues and temples of all kinds? What would be the sense of keeping up a system of oppression where people have to follow thousands of different kinds of laws if a human being would be educated to his utmost abilities. A person who is sure of himself would not oppress another person, rather would have also the capabilities and the potential to help his neighbor. A person who has no inner conflicts would not carry these conflicts out in the open and inflict harm on another one. A person who is sure of himself would be automatically also an understanding person for any other creature. So the problem we are dealing with is that instead of teaching children that they have the right to unfold themselves in any possible way, and each one is individually and uniquely a word in himself or herself, instead of that, the school system trains people to obey, trains people to go in and that is very important, competition to each other. In academics, there are tests being done which show which children have understood certain, certain kinds of rules, certain kinds of mathematical formulas better than others, or in sports, who runs or jumps higher 
than the other, even if the, even if the average child is trying its best and might even have good results, there will be always one who has the better ones. And as long as the educational system aims at setting people against each other by becoming competitors, there always will be one who is better than the other and the whole rest must feel inferior. And when you feel inferior in a test or in a sporting event over and over again, you will end up with the inferior complex. This is the outcome which cannot in any way be avoided because it's an imprint in the mind of this person that I have tried my very best, but there are others that are better. There are others that are smarter than me. So whatever I decide to do, whatever I engage in, is not up to a good or even to the best standards. And this is intended because only people who are not secure of their own abilities and their own possibilities of running an unhindered and free life can be manipulated by the small group which is intending to keep you at bay. And here comes perfectly fitting also the religious aspect into it. If you are not absolutely sure about yourself, your instinct and your decisions, and you are not absolutely capable of building a complete life around you, then you're looking for salvation. Salvation which will fit into the picture and filling the gap of your own incapabilities. And what is a better tool than religion and a high God above you which looks up or looks down better, down on the human race and leads this human race and the weakest of the weakest to salvation if he do, does nothing else but believe and obey what the priests have to say. There's always the element of punishment luring in the back. And if this insecure, inferior being, as most of you feel, does not completely obey to the rules of the state and the church, there is a punishment one way or the other. If you are not a good citizen who just does what is told to him, you may end up in jail. And if you do not obey the church and completely play into the hands of these filthy priests, then you might even up in hell and burn forever. And before you are completely eaten up by the flames, you might be put together whole again so you can burn again. This is what is inflicted on human beings when they are children. This is done to humans when they are young. And then when they are thrown into the world after the school is finished, then you have crippled personalities en masse. Crippled personalities who are trying to bite each other in the back in order somewhat and somehow feel not quite as inferior as they have been feeling all their life. This is exactly the ill of human society and you can see it starting in the smallest family and this disease is creeping all over the planet and states fighting each other, religion fighting each other, family members fighting each other, just because it is meant to be that way. 
because others, which you might call the elite, are very well aware of it, and it is the only way for a small, tiny group to control the masses. And as long as you say, as long as you believe you belong to a group or another, as a human, as long as you say, I'm a man, you're a woman, I am black and you are white, I'm educated in this field or that, and you are not, I'm financially more secure and better off than you, as long as you play against each other, you weaken yourself in the structure of society and play into the hands of these very few who rule you and abuse of you. Well, this is all I have to say to this educational system at the moment, and I wish you a pleasant day. Rudolf of Germany. <laughs>